I'm Dr. Warren Brule, and today we're going to be talking about omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil. In our practice, we prescribe a great deal of omega-3 fatty acids for our patients because it has awesome healing benefits. One of the most profound healing benefits that omega-3 fatty acids offer is the ability to reduce inflammation within the body naturally. Now, within your body, you have different kinds of chemicals that induce the signal for inflammation and chemicals that bring inflammation down. These chemicals are often called prostaglandins, and prostaglandins will signal inflammation to come up or down depending on what's occurring within your body. Now, most non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen and Tylenol and aspirin lower inflammation in the body by shutting down prostaglandin synthesis. But unfortunately, they also shut down the body's ability to make its own anti-inflammatories or anti-inflammatory prostaglandins. The difference with omega-3 oils, fish oil, is that it increases your body's ability to make its own anti-inflammatory prostaglandins, and it does not shut that system down. So using non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs almost becomes an ongoing issue that you need to take more and more of them to get the desired effect. It also, in some cases, slows healing, and in some situations, people have allergic reactions or it may even cause bleeding and may even lead to death. The omega-3 fatty acids that we use in our practice, we use uh, capsules and we also use liquid. We're looking for a very high content of a substance called EPA, a casopentanoic acid. Typically, you want to be getting at least 1 to 2 grams, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of this substance, a casopentanoic acid. Now, if you buy your omega-3 fatty acids, usually at Costco or one of the other uh, sort of drug stores, you want to be very clear about what you're getting. You want to read how much eicosapentaenoic acid is in each particular fish oil capsule because that's going to tell you how much you're going to need to take. Now, this particular liquid that we use has, per teaspoon, a little over 1,000 milligrams of EPA. So that's a very concentrated dosage. These capsules have over 400 milligrams of EPA per capsule. The typical product that you're going to buy usually at the average drugstore is going to have about 100 to 150 milligrams of EPA per capsule. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind. Not only do omega-3 oils help with inflammation, but they also help with brain and cognition. So sometimes children that are having attention problems benefit a great deal by taking omega-3 fatty acids. It also can help with skin and hair and hormone function within the body. So it's perhaps one of the most vital nutrients to take every single day in a supplement form. Now you might say, could I maybe get it in my diet? Typically, what we find most people in their diet do not consume enough of the right kinds of foods to get omega-3 fatty acids. The most common sources are raw nuts like walnuts or almonds or fish, particularly the, uh, the heavy uh, oil-laden types of fish. And a lot of people don't get as much of that as they actually should have. Now, unfortunately, getting the wrong kinds of fats is also a problematic. And a type of fat called trans fats or hydrogenated fats actually increase your body's need for these omega-3 fatty acids. So one of the things I definitely recommend is that you take an omega-3 fatty acid supplement every day and you want to look for a high potency omega-3 fatty acid similar to the one that we actually have here in the office, the Doc's Choice Omega-3 fatty acids or the Liquid Pharmax brand where each particular dosage, one teaspoon, has a thousand milligrams. Usually you want to keep your omega-3 fatty acids in the, frig in the refrigerator after you open them as well. I'm Dr. Warren Brule, and that's some very helpful information that I want you to use to help improve your body's ability to reduce inflammation and stay well.